Hello guys and welcome back to our channel once again. As always, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that anytime I upload new videos, you will be notified. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the top three interchanges in Kumasi in the Ashanti region. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So guys, we all know that in the past 20 years or so, the government of Ghana has made conscious effort to build interchanges in our cities in order to ease traffic and also to give these cities a facelift, I mean to beautify these cities. So Kumasi in particular has quite a few number of interchanges. So number three on the list is Asafo Interchange. So the Asafo Interchange was the first ever interchange to be built in Kumasi, the Ashanti region, and the Ashanti region in general. The project was started somewhere in 2005 by the then government, um, led by John Kufo, and the project was expected to be completed in 2007. It was meant to reduce traffic jam between Asafo Market and Dumkejetia and Central Market respectively. So the project was founded by the government of Ghana, the World Bank and A AFD and some other institutions. Asafo Interchange is undoubtedly the oldest interchange that was built in Kumasi, the garden city of Ghana. So recently I went there and the place looks a little bit, I mean, untidy, but I believe it's in a good condition and I believe it is really, I mean, beautiful. So yeah, that's it for Asafo Interchange. Number two, the second interchange to be built in Kumasi was the Asokwa interchange. It is a dual carriage interchange, and the project also involved a dual road construction from Oforikum to Asokwa. It was a $27 million project sponsored by the government of Ghana and the AFD. The AFD is a government of France initiative. So the project was started in 2008 and it was completed in 20. 11 that means it took about three years to complete the project the beauty of the interchange and its locality and the ease of traffic jam has attracted a lot of investors to situate their businesses around the asoka municipality so currently in kumase the asoka area is an amazing place to live the area has a lot of attractions the babaira sports stadium the kumase city mall the kfc many 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 others so, so asoka is a very hot cake place in kumase and from Asoka to Ahundu is there, so that's when we try to Guys, number one on the list today is the Sofo Line Interchange. So the Sofo Line Interchange in Kumase is undoubtedly, undisputably, the largest, the biggest, Agantuan, the gorgeous, and the most beautiful interchange in Kumase. So this Sofo Line Interchange is so beautiful. It's very nice. And guys, upon reaching there, my phrase I mean, I was really, really in love with the interchange. That interchange has really, really beautified Kumasi a lot and the Sofo Line area. So the project started in 2007. That was about a long time ago. It was a very, very long time ago, about 13, 14 years ago. The project is supposed to cost about $150 million. And it was even meant to be completed within 36 months. But due to change of government and delay of funds, the project as of now hasn't really been completed. Upon reaching the surrounding wasn't really attractive because this is a new interchange and when you look at how bushy and how dirty and tidy the place is, it was very a sad experience and I believe people in charge of this facility must ensure that the place is kept clean and a lot of maintenance is also done to make sure that the place becomes a safer, safer, safer place for everybody to visit. It can even be a tourist 
attraction for people who visit Kumasi because the place is such an amazing place. The surrounding is really terrible and a lot of people are also complaining about traffic between Ebuakwa and Sunjane. The Ebuakwa and Sunjane road is also part of the project but it seems it hasn't really been completed and there's a lot of traffic and people are really really complaining about this situation. So I believe the government and the contractors must speed up their game and make sure they project is completed and for the benefit of the country in general so guys this is my top three interchanges in kumasi i hope you enjoyed this video if you did kindly subscribe below comment below what you think and guys stay safe and adhere to covid 19 protocols i'll see you on my next video peace out